Hi, everyone. My name is Stephen Moyes, and I'm a senior program manager working on the React Native team at Microsoft. Today, I'm joined by Maddie. Maddie, do you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Thanks, Stephen. I'm Maddie Monacola, and I am a senior PM on the .NET MAUI team at Microsoft. Sweet. Thanks, Maddie. Today, we'll be talking about building cross-platform applications using JavaScript or .NET and how you can supercharge your app for the 1 billion users on Windows. When you're trying to ship your app to more people on more devices, we know that you have a ton of options. Many developers choose to write native apps that directly target each platform, like iOS, Android, and Windows. Native apps offer platform look and feel, a great user experience, and accessibility built in. However, they require you to manage multiple code bases and write against each platform separately. On the other side of the spectrum are websites and web apps. Websites are deployable to a wide breadth of devices, basically anything with a browser. Web apps and PWAs elevate your websites to feel more like apps. Each technology has its own sweet spot and value proposition. But what if you could get all the benefits of native, like high performance and look and feel, without sacrificing breadth? Today, we'll be talking about React Native and .NET Multi-Platform App UI, or MAUI, which are both great options that help you build native apps that can target multiple platforms. Both React Native and MAUI enable you to build cross-platform applications for mobile and desktop. React Native is a great choice for developers who are familiar with JavaScript and React, while MAUI is a great choice for developers who are familiar with .NET and XAML. We know that JavaScript and .NET have huge developer communities, so we at Microsoft want to make sure that you're successful regardless of your skill set. Now let's take a look at some numbers. I've got some stats from this year's Stack Overflow Developer Survey, which indicated that JavaScript is the most commonly used programming language and that React.js is the most commonly used web framework. And we're blown away by the things that this community is able to build. Using React Native is a way that you're able to use your JavaScript skill set to target uh, every endpoint, every device, including the billion plus users of Windows in a really great and natural way. Similarly, we know that .NET has a ton of momentum as well. Not only are there millions of .NET developers, we know that they love using .NET to build apps. Many of the highest velocity OSS projects use .NET to supercharge their apps. And it's not just the apps. Not only are .NET developers building great applications, the community is also actively improving the underlying .NET platform. With almost 7,000 contributors who have contributed almost uh, over 21,000 contributions, we know that the .NET community is large and deeply engaged with the platform. As I mentioned before, both React Native and .NET MAUI are great options that let you build applications that target iOS, Android, Windows, and macOS. At Microsoft, we are deeply invested in both platforms. The decision about which to use is primarily based on your skill set. Do you know more about JavaScript and TypeScript, or do you know more about .NET and XAML? Now that I've talked about the momentum behind both React Native and MAUI, I'd like to showcase some of the apps within Microsoft that are using this technology. At Microsoft, we're using React Native to power some of our most important apps across our portfolio. Office uses React Native in several experiences to ensure that users have a consistent experience regardless of which device they're using. On the other hand, several Xbox console apps are written from the ground up using React Native for Windows to enable them to ship a native experience and app using JavaScript. Finally, Power Apps is betting on React Native to enable low-code, no-code apps across both mobile and desktop. Let's take a look at the Xbox app on PC, which was written in React Native and updated for Windows 11. The Xbox app lets you manage your game library, download new games, and socialize with friends. The beautiful user experience includes animations and multimedia, and performance is super snappy. The Xbox app team initially explored Electron, but found that React Native helped them build a super performant app that takes advantage of the native platform. The team found that memory consumption went from 1.6 gigs down to 350 megs, and users take notice of the app's improved performance, especially on Windows 11. Now, .NET MAUI was just released, so there aren't too many apps in the wild yet. 
However, we built this .NET podcast sample app that spans the web, mobile, desktop, cloud-native backends, and more. We wanted to build a realistic app that is both beautiful and responsive, no matter what device someone is using. You can take a look at the source code on GitHub. One thing that is particularly powerful with .NET MAUI is the ability to take Blazor code, which is .NET's modern web framework, and run it directly in a .NET MAUI app. In this app, there is a Blazor component that runs in the browser on the web, and that same Blazor component is run natively in the MAUI app as well. So we've talked about some of the great apps and experiences that are using React Native in MAUI, and we touched upon how both platforms let you build native apps using JavaScript or .NET. Now I'd like to toss the microphone over to Maddie, who will walk through the developer benefits enjoyed by both React Native and MAUI developers. Thanks, Stephen. Let's talk a bit about what makes these two technologies so powerful for cross-platform development. One thing that's really important with cross-platform tech is not sacrificing on the ability to create tailored native experiences alongside your shared experiences. By default, .NET MAUI and React Native use the native UI controls under the hood, so your UI is styled in the way the native platform intends it. Then you can customize your UI to be more or less similar depending on the needs of your project. For example, this is a sample .NET MAUI app we built. It's just a basic login screen, and it looks pretty much the same. And these are screenshots from Mac, Windows, Android, and iOS, all in both light and dark themes. The fonts and colors, hyperlink, and button styling are all the same. If you look closely, though, you notice that there are some differences, particularly with the text entry field. On Windows and Android, the active text box has an underline with an accent color either set by you, the app developer, or the user's operating system preferences. So Windows has an accent color. That's what tells the uh, app what color to use on that underline there. On Mac, the text entry has a light blue border when active or whatever your system color is. So mine's pink, I believe, on my Mac. And on iOS, there's simply the active blue cursor. These are the experiences that you expect for a text entry on these platforms, and they look and feel consistent with other apps and experiences built natively for the operating system. Another thing with both React Native and MAUI is you get a super fast interdevelopment loop. With tech such as Hot Reload in both of them, you can rapidly iterate on your projects with the best-in-class tools for any developer. Most React Native developers use Visual Studio Code, which is Microsoft's text editor, with an extension for everything. React Native also provides great ways to make your development cycle even faster with their standalone dev tool suite and their in-app developer menu. Visual Studio 2022, on the other hand, is the best IDE for not just .NET MAUI, but all .NET app development. It helps you stay productive and collaborative with a ton of features, including Hot Reload Everywhere, IntelliCode, which is even smarter IntelliSense that does whole line completions and suggestions for refactorings and a bunch of stuff, and built-in Git and GitHub integrations. Of course, Visual Studio 2022 is the first 64-bit version of Visual Studio, so it takes advantage of the full power of your dev box now as well. The third thing that makes both of these platforms so compelling for developers are the mature component ecosystems backing both of them. Steven already shared some of the statistics around both the JavaScript and .NET communities, and those stats are also reflected by the sheer number of modules and packages you can add to really supercharge your apps and take them to the next level. If you're in either of the JavaScript or .NET communities, you're probably familiar with NPM for JavaScript and NuGet for .NET. There are tons of community-created modules on NPM for React Native developers, ranging from basic UI controls like a picker to more complicated solutions such as asynchronous storage on a device. The same thing goes for .NET MAUI. Any NuGet package for .NET 6 and beyond will work with MAUI, and there are already tons of controls, um, uh, app frameworks, and toolkits on NuGet for MAUI-specific use cases. So let's turn it back to Steven to learn how to make your apps even better for Windows. Thanks, Maddie. Both React Native and MAUI enable you to build cross-platform applications that target iOS, Android, Windows, and macOS. When you start building a cross-platform application, it usually has the same set of core capabilities everywhere. But as it gets traction and your audience grows, your customers are going to start asking you to make the experience better on each platform, including on Windows. And we've got you covered. 
Let's take a minute to talk about how React Native and MAUI have a great light-up story on Windows, which allows you to delight your customers and accelerate your growth on desktop. As I mentioned before, both React Native and MAUI are truly native applications, which means that on Windows, they're built on top of WinUI. This means that you get the native WinUI look and feel by default, but it also means that you have unfettered access to the underlying native uh, capabilities and APIs. This means that you're able to build tailored experiences specifically for Windows users. Let me give you an example. The Settings app on Windows 11 is using React Native on a few specific pages to share JavaScript code between uh, the web properties and the native uh, experience on Windows 11. By combining the native performance and experience of WinUI with the developer experience of React Native, the settings team is able to build a great user experience for managing user accounts. Again, this app is totally native. There are no web views in sight. Looking forward, more Windows 11 experiences will be built using this native hybrid approach. And we're excited to share more information about this later this year. If you're a developer and you want to build similar sorts of experiences that are supercharged on Windows, you can use packages like React Native WinRT and React Native XAML to integrate into your React Native for Windows apps. These modules let you call Windows APIs directly from JavaScript without needing to write any C-sharp or C++ code. And now let's take a look at how we can do similar things on MAUI. You can do similar things from MAUI apps. For example, you can use compiler directives in C-sharp to make platform-specific calls like notification service and trace service from WinUI or on Catalyst on Mac, a similar sort of pattern. I could also write native calls or cross-platform API calls to add taskbar actions and notifications. If I had a bunch of native code to write, I can drop right into WinApp SDK and call native APIs directly from MAUI. This enables my weather app to do things like host custom actions when I right click in the taskbar, like checking the current weather or adding a location. Or when I open the task uh, system tray, I can pop a new notification when I click this button. Both platforms have a really exciting year ahead. React Native is working on migrating their Windows backend from UWP to WinApp SDK and also aligning with the React Native core re-architecture. .NET MAUI just shipped as part of .NET 6, and the tooling experiences will be general availability by the end of Q3. And then, of course, we're gearing up for .NET 7's release in the fall. Getting started with either of these technologies is super easy. Just go to the links that we have on this slide here, and we'll get you started right away. And there are plenty of other sessions for you to check out about .NET MAUI, React Native, and developing amazing apps for Windows here at Build. I hope you enjoy the rest of your conference, and thank you so much for joining us. <laughs>